What is happening, everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Today I have a quadruple unboxing for you guys. Before we dig in, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I would love to have you here. And before you head out, hit that like button, hit that thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it, guys. Now, we have four knives to unbox here. And this is part two of this unboxing. Schrade sent in a massive uh, box of knives for us to check out here and do some testing on. And I pulled them all out of the box because there was so many. I couldn't fit it in just one video. So I broke it up into two. If you haven't seen that one, that one is definitely up if you are seeing this. Uh, and that has some really cool stuff in it as well. This one in particular, we have two of the Alpha series. Whereas the one, the very first one, only has one Alpha series. Uh, so we got three total, and there was one in the first one. There is two in this one, and we have our very first fixed blade coming from Schrade. There's our sheath there. So this is going to be called the Schrade Exertion, coming in OS 10, included sharpener and ferro rod. No kidding. I wonder where they are. And then Oz 10 non-slip G10 handles. They have a nice little slight contour to them. Injection molded sheath. And then you have their limited lifetime warranty there. Nice looking blade. This is going to be getting a outdoor test. Let's see. Oh, I see the ferro rod. Okay. Oh, I see it. <clears throat> I see both of them now. So definitely nice and sharp right out of the box. We'll get rid of that guy. So there is the sheath there. And there is our ferro rod nicely uh, added on. And then you have a little ceramic sharpener there it looks like. So that is a nice little touch. Yeah, retention is not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, not too bad. A little jiggly, but I don't know that you're going to really be running with this guy. This is going to be more for around the campsite. Oh, I think maybe I seated it. I wasn't seating it far enough. There we go. Yeah, okay, that's better. There, oh, you got to pop it in there. So once you pop it in there, now it's really in there. Okay. Yeah, so you give it a little push. Needs a little break-in period. So that's that's a lot better. A lot better. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Very good. Okay. So satin finished. Aus 10. Should be nice and tough. Look at that blade stock. Woo! That is a thick piece of Aus 10. Very, very nice. The exertion. We will be testing this guy out outdoors and kind of see what it's made of. So we have one from their, uh, I forget what line, oh, the Delta line. And then they have the Alpha line, which we have two of those to get to. And I am stoked because one of them is something that I've been looking at for a long, long time. Probably, uh, I don't know. It's been a while. When they first came out with it, I was very, very interested in it, but I just never picked it up. So what we have is the Schrade Melee. It is assisted. D2 steel, G10 handles. It is a frame lock, and it has their lifetime warranty there. And this is a mean-looking little bugger here. Now, you'll see a, a difference in the packaging as we get up to the Alpha Series, if you're not familiar. So we have a frame lock here. Can we get that paper out? Because we definitely, there we go. They always include a little bit of paperwork in there. So we have a black washed D2 Tanto style blade. And that black wash is very nice, guys. That is a nice finish. 
We have serrations there. Ooh, nice little stout. Nice little stout detent. Okay. And then we have a lower mounted deep carry clip that is recessed along with the screws. It's going to be reversible and they include a filler tab. Very nice touch. This is a different animal right here, isn't it? This is uh so you have an exposed frame lock that's going to be steel. That's going to be a steel frame lock. And then you have a G10 show side, open construction, two standoffs. Yeah, this is an interesting little guy right here. The melee assisted. I like me a Tanto, guys. And, you know, I'm not much for serrations on the majority of my knives. But boy, do they come in handy sometimes, and it's not a bad idea to have a couple of knives with some serrations around. That really locks you in the way this is done. Now, if you have massive hands, that might be trouble, but even XL-sized hands, you're going to fit on this thing very nicely. And then that little cupping here, that little flare, just really locks you in on that handle ergos are nice on there you have these nice thick nice thick handles so the comfort is going to be pretty good on this guy so let's get to let's get to one of the alpha series here you can see i haven't opened any of these up let's cut this guy open now this one might look semi-familiar. I love this packaging, by the way. And I, I asked my fiance what she thought, and this is her favorite packaging aside from the hard plastic cases. So you have the nice two-stage box here. We have a nice little pouch, and this is going to be called the Melee Auto. So basically, this guy's older brother. This is the assisted melee, and this guy is the auto version. So we have nice and centered up, black. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Is that G10 maybe? I think that's G10. We have a secondary lock here, so that will prohibit you from hitting the button unlock it and you can get to work there we have another lower mounted deep carry clip you'll have just a little bit poking out there you have this little pummel here on the end that would also double as uh, a lanyard spot two standoffs let's see what this guy looks like okay so we have s35 on the steel there and the other one that I have, uh, which you'll see in part one, which I have right here. Now, forgive me, I forget the name, but this one was just like this when it first came out of the box. And as I've messed with it and put a little bit of oil in it, it's actually gotten a little bit quicker, a little bit faster, harder on the open. So something to be said for the break-in of of these uh pretty good though it's not the best out the side auto ever but if that gets strengthened up a little bit breaks in gets a little bit of oil in there i put some uh kpl light in there and it really helped that other one out. So hopefully it'll do the same for this guy as well. Made in the USA. This one don't have any serrations like the assisted one does. So they will basically be the same exact knife, but one will be assisted. One is a push button out the side auto. That's interesting. So they didn't do a filler tab on the more premium one. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? I'm surprised they didn't include that filler tab on there. 
if I, I might end up moving that to this one, if it works. Uh, that's kind of interesting. But yeah, nice little out the side auto. I don't know. I will have all these linked down below, guys. I'm not sure what the retail prices are on any of these, actually. Uh, so I will link all the stuff down below. And if you see something that's interesting, you can head over there and check it out. So we have our last knife, another Alpha Class. And this one is going to be the one that I have been looking at for a long time. This is the Truex. Truex. And this thing really, really caught my eye. Especially after getting the Radoc in. Which is fantastic, by the way. Uh, this just looked really, really good. Slightly off-center by just a smidge. We have this... I think this is G10 maybe, but I'm not 100% sure. And then this is titanium, isn't it? I think this is tight. Maybe it's not titanium. For some reason, I was thinking, unless I'm getting something else there. For some reason, I was thinking this is titanium. The liners are steel. For some reason, I thought these bolsters were titanium. Maybe they're not. So this one's going to be coming in S35VN as well. We have nice protrusion on the crossbar lock there. Nice blade shape too. I like this. It's like a drop point tanto. You have that semi-tip right there that goes into a nice little secondary edge and it has a little bit of belly to it. Nice little straight here. I like Tantos like this where you get that nice little straight edge. You have a usable secondary edge and these secondary tips can be very useful for certain things. And then you have your nice primary pokey tip up there. Fairly thick on the blade stock. Feels like it comes down pretty good. And I can say I have it right here. So this is from the very first unboxing of the shreds that I've done. And this is something I've had in pocket quite a bit and has broken in very nicely. This is the Radoc coming in S35 and marbled carbon fiber. This thing is an absolute beast. So there are their two higher end, if you will. You know, they're more premium line uh, folders here. Both of them are crossbar locks and both are very, very aesthetically pleasing to the eye. And one thing I have found with the Radoc and it'll probably hold true with this one as well. A little bit of break in, you know, opening and closing. Maybe a little bit of oil in there. And this thing will be very, very good to go. It's a little bit smaller than the Radoc, which the Radoc is a pretty big boy. Uh, kind of towers over the Truex. But man, are those two very, very nice blade shapes. Uh, this is a knife that I've had my eye on for a long, long time. Sharpening choil is not bad. It could be a lot better. The plunge line kind of... You have a little bit before you start to, but you could always notch in something yourself uh, to the people who you know are really heavily into the sharpening. Uh, that's not my forte. I have enough knives that, you know, I'll never, I would never need to sharpen a knife. But for the people who do, uh, you have a little bit there before you start your smiling process. S35 is going to be a great steal 
for an EDC type knife. The thumb studs are done very nicely. I really like the way that they do their crossbars. That's the same exact stud that they did on the Radoc. Nice protrusion. Uh, I like the stepped design, easy to grab a hold of. And this is really nice. I don't know if that's G10 or what that is. I think it's G10, but it's very grippy and it looks really good. That's a, a very fine looking knife. And then we have a deep carry clip here and the screws aren't recessed, which would have been a nice touch. I The Radoc is the same way. I think, you know, and Schrade is working on, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that Schrade is back on the train. They're doing, they're doing all the right things. They, of course, are going to have things that need a little bit of help, right? And that's the case for both of these. If they just did a slight tweak on the pocket clip, basically just do a stepped pocket clip, you know, right one on top of the other and just run a straight bar down. You could easily mill that in to both sides and make these both lefty carries. Basically just what a standard, you know, milled clip would look like. Uh, you know, you can kind of pick, pick anything and see what like a, a uh, top bottom screw set would do. And then that opens you up to be able to run the pocket clip without redesign, you know, straight up this side, straight up this side, and then lefties can carry it enjoyably uh, as well. And then you just throw a filler tab on the show side, aluminum, whatever it is, G10, my car, you know, whatever material you kind of pick. So this is one I wanted to check the edge on. And that's one thing about all the Schrade folders that I've had in. They've all come in with a nice edge on them, which is, that's, you know, one of the primary things is you want your knife to be sharp out of the box. And that is one thing I can say about the Schrade line. And at this point, I have... 10 or 12 of them and they have all come out of the box nice and sharp and this one is no exception this kind of has like a gray dlc coating on it too i'm not 100 percent sure what that is but it sure looks like a gray dlc i think this is a fine fine looking knife so we have a couple of really cool ones to get to and we'll be testing the fixed blade here, outdoors, very, very soon. All great little options here and a bunch of different price points. I'll link part one down below and I'll link the original unboxing as well. There's a lot of good stuff coming from Schrade. I think they're doing all the right things and in time they will, they, they have the, the right footprint down. So if they keep going in this trajectory, they are going to really get things strangleholded down. And uh, I look forward to what they have to offer us here in the future because they are really on to something with what they've been doing. They got a lot of different varieties. They got manual knives, automatic, assisted. They have uh, crossbar locking knives. So they got a bunch of stuff that they are and then they, of course, have their fixed blade line, which Schrade, you know, that's kind of their benchmark is their fixed blades. They, you know, at one point were kind of the go-to affordable fixed blade for many, many people, and they still are. And uh, they are making that turn and, you know, coming back into the limelight, which I am extremely happy about because I'm a pretty big Schrade fan. And we all should want more USA made folding knives and fixed blade knives. Uh, you know, more options is better for all of us. So I'm giving good and big props to Schrade. 
I hope they keep up what they're doing. Huge shout out to them for sending this stuff in for us to take a look at and test out. Greatly appreciate them. Hit the thumbs up button, guys. Let me know down in the comments what you think of these guys. Let me know what you think of their entire line. If you have seen some of their different offerings. And if you're new here or you've been here before and you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button down below the video. I would love to have you here. Otherwise, guys, I will catch you on the next one.